Hello Scorpios. So this is going to be your monthly reading and happy birthday. So in this monthly reading, I'm also going to be including the career, work and finance um, section. I will timestamp it down below in the comment section and the description box. So I'm going to first start with the Romance Angel and the Capra deck. Let's see. Hey, universe, give me a four card spread. What's going to happen in Scorpio's love life? So there is express your love. Universe, give me three more cards. Universe, give me three more cards. So there's attraction, getting to know each other. Universe, give me one more card. Soulmate and calling your soulmate. Okay, so this is a pertaining to the single Scorpios. I feel like you are going to be connecting with somebody who's going to treat you right, especially around your birthday season. This person is going to go full throttle, okay? They want to impress you. Okay, universe, give me a four card spread. What's going to happen in Scorpio's love life? So there's toy and labor in reverse, okay? So again, I feel like this person is very like a traditional gentleman um, or like this is a woman who likes to give a lot too. Um, this is like someone who just loves to give, okay? Universe, give me, okay, look at this gift. <laughs> gift and change. So if you was dealing with past people that was stingy, okay, sometimes they give, sometimes they don't give. The next person that you're going to be dealing with, this is someone who loves to give. Like, they give a lot, okay? And I feel like for your birthday, they're going to go full throttle. The universe, give me two more cards. Okay, there is despair and coffin. Yep. You're going to stop dealing with people like that, okay? So, this is going to be very specific. So, if you've been dealing with people that were just stingy and cheap, I feel like you're not going to deal with those people anymore at all, okay? Let's see. The universe, give me one more card. Okay, mature woman. Yeah, it's like you know that you deserve the best, so you're only gonna attract people who's giving you the best. Okay, it may took some time. So it may have took some time for you know getting what you want, but I feel like what you want is coming through. Okay, it's like manifesting. Probably this is not the exact person that you want, but I feel like better treatment is here. Okay, um, that's what I'm pretty much getting. So with getting to know each other, just burned coffin. I feel like this person went some um, went through stuff similar to you. Okay, with so many immature women, I feel like this is someone who's wanting a ma uh, mature woman, or that's you that's wanting a mature woman. This is someone who wants something serious. Okay, there's attraction, change, and gift. They definitely see you as a breath of fresh air. Okay, and with your express your love and toy and labor in reverse to clarify that it's more like this person will be very available. This is not someone who like to have a friend. Okay, they're not like that. Okay, so this is good. Let's see what else I'm getting. Universe, give me a four card spread. So there is success. Universe, give me three red cards. Universe, give me three red cards. So there is forbidden and reverse, trap and reverse, belonging and reverse. Okay. And we have moon. Okay. So again, I feel like this person is going to be an open book. They're going to be very real and transparent. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to appreciate that. Um, also with the belonging first, I feel like this is someone who's not over controlling. This is not someone who is, um, not controlling, over controlling. This is not someone like that. Okay. So this is a good person. I feel like, so let's see, let's see what the tarot showing. So universe, give me a five card spread. What's going to happen? Okay. Queen of Pentacles and Page of Wands. This person might be younger than you. Okay. But this is someone who see your worth. Okay. They may see you as out of their league. Okay. Universe, give me four more cards. It's going to happen in Scorpio's love life for November. Ten of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Some of you guys are probably not even focused on love. Universe, give me two more cards. Four cops. Also, I see past people all the time. <laughs> it's not a Scorpio reading without X's showing through. 
Okay, ask my try to reach out around your birthday. Universe, give me one more card. Universe, give me one more card. Five of Wands, Knight of Swords. Yeah, I see you getting a lot of other people attention too, not just this one who's willing to give you everything, give you the world. Um, the song that I'm getting, um, I forgot her name. It's a classic R&B song. It's like Lula Van Dross and I think her first name is Sherry. Um, if the world was mine. Okay. That song beautiful. Okay. So this person is, they want to give you the whole world, but I see you have other people as well. Also, I see past energy trying to resurface again. <laughs> okay. Universe club at the four of wands in reverse. Okay. It came out interesting. Universe club at four of wands in reverse. Ace of pentacles. King of Pentacles in reverse, high fence. I see an earth sign coming through. This could be that new person, earth and fire. Okay. Someone want to give you something. Someone want to offer commitment. But I feel like right now you can just not really focus on that. Or probably like some of you guys are still trying to clear out some past energy. Universe clarify for the five of wands and the nine of swords. Ace of cups. Yeah, you have something new. I'm sorry. And this person is waiting on you. I ain't gonna continue to wait. <laughs> so universe clarify the four of cups. Universe clarify the four of cups. The lovers and the knight of wands. Yeah, this person see you. They want for this to grow and they want to, you know, want you to want them as much. Um, they wanna init like they're gonna be initiative, okay? Knight of Wands is someone who's like in and out, but I'm not getting that in this case. I feel like this is somebody who's rushing to be in a relationship with you because they really see you as everything. Again, they might see you as out of their league too, okay? Now, with the past, yes, someone who was inconsistent is definitely going to try to get, trying to see if they can be relevant again, <laughs> okay? Um, but I feel like a lot of you guys have moved on from that. Universe, clarify the Five of Pentacles. Five of Swords, yeah, this is that... X, that is sad, okay? Universe, clarify the five of swords. Seven of wands, page of pentacles, and reverse is someone who haven't changed. I feel like you guys want to block this person. Universe, clarify the ten of wands. And if you have already blocked them, um, and they still have figure out a way to keep, in, like, keep reaching out to you, um, you might change your number or something. Universe, clarify the nine of pentacles, two of swords. Yeah, this person might try to resurface to, like, where you usually be at. So be careful with that. Universe, clarify the Queen of Pentacles and a Page of Wands. Ace of Swords in reverse. Two of Wands in reverse. And the Magician in reverse. Hmm. Universe, clarify the Two of Wands in reverse. Ace of Swords in reverse. And the Magician in reverse. Okay, so a lot of you guys don't trust this person. Okay, probably this person's overdoing it. And you may feel like, why are they overcompensating? Like, why are they doing that? Like, so you feel like you can't trust this person. Okay, and that's a value, um, a val like a valuable reason um, to not trust this person. Because you may feel like this person's overdoing it. Okay, I do see them doing that. Um, so you don't trust them. So I see them giving you a lot, but it's like you may feel like there's a catch to it. You may feel like this is they trying to figure out. You may think this they're, they're trying to buy you. OK, so you don't trust that. OK, um, the new person could be an earth sign or a fire sign. The past could be both, too. It could be an earth or a fire. OK, so I'm getting earth and fire mostly and Gemini here. So I guess we'll look at the other duck. universe give me a four card spread no messages so there is visionary knight and trickster universe give me one more card there's child divine and delante Dante. hopefully i'm pronouncing that i always mispronounce that one so visionary knight trickster and child divine yeah so a lot of you guys feel like you can't trust them some of you guys are dealing with 
a Libra because Libra reading was similar to that. But the thing with Libra, it was not like this person was over giving or over doing stuff. It's just more like you feel like the Libra, they feel like um, this is not the one, but the their person, the Libra person feel like they're the one for them. OK, so I do get that energy here. What's another sign who had that message? Capricorn, too. So some of you guys might be dealing with a Capricorn, too. So let's look here. All right, universe, give me a three card spread. So girl talk. Universe, give me two more cards. Twin flames. Universe, give me one more card. Okay, that's a lot of cards here. Grim Reaper but, um, photograph. So this is the X. I'm stalking you still. Um, then there is Butterfly and Cupid's Arrow. Yep, someone is in love with you. They feel like you are their twin flame. Jenna Energy is date. Yep, this is someone new. <laughs> Meeting someone new. Dating. Get back out there. Um, plan a set date. Then it is time with friends. Moving on. Happily single. Living in the moment. And having fun. Twin flames. Yin yang. Zen balance. Union duality. Coupling. Compliment each other. Relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. Then there is have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meaning, hesitation. Okay, so let's look here. All right, universe, give me a four card spread. What messages do you have for Scorpios? Okay, I got a lot of cards. It's the emotional withdrawal, the tower. This is like the Eight of Cups, I believe. Then I got the Tower. Then you got the Moving On. Fulfillment to Wishes. Ace of Cups. The Emperor. Okay, Patience. Yeah, you connecting with somebody who definitely see you as the one. And they're willing. <laughs> they're willing to, um, okay. They're willing to spend those bands, okay. They're willing to drop a bag, okay. Not even a bag. Drop multiple bags on you, Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Um, so it's like kind of good karma, especially if you've been dealing with so much like people that were just users. You know, you're getting some good karma coming your way. OK, um, but if you don't like this person, you know, don't leave them on per se, but per, not per se. But don't leave them on. <laughs> OK, but I do see you got somebody who wants to give you everything. OK, so you see what else I'm getting. Okay, so universe, this card, love to come out. Emotions are running high, super moon. Okay, let's see what else I'm getting. So many cards. Okay. View from above, get the big picture. I feel like that's leveling up, okay? Even who you're attracting, okay? You're attracting better people. Believe in the impossible, blue moon. You are good enough, like I was saying, okay? So self-esteem, self-worth is on it's 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 so high basically you're attracting the best okay full moon in virgo far away places get ready for new horizons okay new beginnings new levels okay step out of your comfort zone north node okay time to give rather than take new moon in virgo and surrender to the journey release control okay so again i don't feel like this is someone who's controlling like i was mentioning before and hold your vision fixed moon okay so let's see what else i'm getting Let's look at the angel answers. And then I'm going to go to the work. I mean, angel answers and oracles. And I'm going to go to the career finances reading. Okay. Universe, give me a four card spread. So big happy changes. Let go. Universe, give me two more cards. What messages do you have for Leo? It's a Leo for um, Scorpio. Could be a Leo. Universe, give me one more card. Peaceful resolution. Jenna energy. Is there something better? Okay. So, yeah. When you let go of the past energy, you're going to get people that's going to treat you like everything. Because you are everything. Okay. You're going to get that. So, all you need to do is just let go of that energy. So, if there was a time where you feel like, oh my gosh, like how this person treated me is a reflection of me. No, it's a reflection of them. 
So detach from that. Know that you are everything. You're a blessing. You are the prize. You're going to get exactly what you want, okay? You're going to get better treatment. You're going to get the best treatment, okay? So you see what else I'm getting. Universe, give me a two-card spread for Scorpios. Okay, there is self-renewal. Yep, this is about cleaning old energy, okay? So let go of any remainants of self-doubt, of self-hate, of of um just low viable let me low energy okay let go of those okay universe give me one more card boundaries okay and also implement boundaries don't forget about that okay because that's that's what protect you because this is like a hard truth like what you allow you know it's not something that you deserve obviously but what you allow can like mess up you know your love life you know, it goes two ways. So the universe wants you to implement those boundaries. Okay. So don't allow BS. So there's no BS, no struggle love. Okay. Gen energy is the unknown. Okay. I bow to the infinite intelligence of the cosmos and my next steps are revealed. Okay. And then there is, as I clean out old energies, I have more space for that, which wants to be birthed into my life. Um, my clear boundaries allow me to protect myself, nurture my intentions and follow my true self. Okay. So that's beautiful. Let's look at the career, work, and finance. Okay, so I'm going to start with a couple questions first, and I'm going to go to like the advice part of the reading as well. So let's start with the first question. So let's see. Okay, universe. How will work be for Scorpios for November 2021? So the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Okay, so I feel like you're going to do what you love to do. Okay, you're going to make it as a priority for you. Probably you've been having like a side business. Okay, you're going to make it full time. You're going to put a lot of your energy towards that. Okay, um, some of you guys are going to go to a different industry, a different path. Okay, but you're going to a path that you have a lot of passion, a lot of love. Okay. So you see what else I'm getting. So universe, how will finances be for Scorpio in November? Three of Cups. Okay, good. So I feel like your finances is going to be good. Um, it's like you're going to feel abundant. You're going to be attracting a lot of um, money your way to you where you can travel, where you can um, travel for leisure. You can you can go to nice restaurants. You can like do like whatever you want to do without feeling like, damn, I need to like stop. Let me chill, you know. So I feel like finance is going to be good. Let's look at what you need to watch out for. Universe, what does Scorpio need to watch out for at work in November 2021? Seven of Swords and Ace of Swords. So, okay. So if you have your own business and you hire people... What you need to watch out for work is like people who may be trying to steal or might try to not do as much, but expecting you to, um, expecting you to like, like give them a pass. Okay. Or they're not expecting you to give them a pass, but they see that like, you know, you're not really too focused on what they're doing. <laughs> so they think they can do whatever. Okay. So that's what you need to watch out for if you do hire other people now um let's just say you work for a company what you need to watch out for is like people i mean not people but a company not paying you what you should be paid okay like they they shorten you some form of money especially like for those who get um commission okay so yes probably the commission look good but they probably supposed to pay you way more so that's what you need to watch out for at work. Another way this can go is that you need to watch out for um, for um, messed up contracts, okay? If you deal with contracts as well, okay? Watch out for that. Watch out for people that just fake, um, who's trying to steal from you. It could be like stealing some, like again, if you have your own business, stealing your marketing, okay? Trying to steal something from you, okay? Um, that's what I'm getting as well. So, okay, universe, how's the environment for Scorpio at work this month? Universe, how's it going to be the work environment for Scorpio in November 2021? So, Nine of Swords Magician. 
Okay, there's a lot of Gemini energy here. So what you need, I mean, what, um, what you, what, how's the environment going to be for you at work? So how's the environment going to be for you at work? It's a magician and a knight of swords. Yeah, so just be careful of people that might be talking a good game, but they're not able to back it up. Okay, just be careful of that. Um, if you have, you're opening your own store and you wanting to remodel um, the office space or your your own store, um, make sure you have good contractors that have good reputation. Okay. Um, also, be careful of anybody who is promising way too much and you think that it's not gonna like that's that's clearly impossible. Okay, because this person might be really BS. Like they're not gonna do even like one percent of that. So just be careful with that as well. The environment at work, it show that you can do anything and you can manifest exactly what you want um, when it comes to your career. But you do got to watch out for some liars, okay, in the mist too. So let's see what else I'm getting. Okay. The next question is going to be what you need to do at work to exceed. Universe, what does Scorpio need to do at work to exceed in November 2021? Universe, okay. Ace of Cups, Two of Pentacles. So if you've been thinking about doing something new, it's already showing here. <laughs> like getting out and doing something that you love, you need to do it, okay? You got to do what you love. It's going to make you a lot of money, okay? Because for once, you're going to put a lot of your passion and you're going to love to do it where you're going to spend so much hours. And when you spend so much hours, you're going to see the consistency and you're going to see the benefits of being consistent, okay? So if you've been thinking about doing something new, the universe wants you to do it. Um, you already love it. So it's going to feel like you're not even working. Okay. So definitely do that. So that's what you need to do. Do what you love to do. Okay. Um, 10 of pentacles, gen energy. So I do see a lot of money coming your way. Beautiful. So you see what else I'm getting with the other deck. Okay. Universe, give me a four card spread. What messages do you have for Scorpio in November 2021? Universe, give me three more cards. Universe, give me two more cards. What messages do you have for Scorpios in November 2021? Okay, so Jenna Energy. People that are connecting, I mean, people that are connecting with do they actually have potential or clout? Do your research. <laughs> I sometimes I can't understand my own handwriting. <laughs> okay. So the universe wants you to connect with the right people. Don't connect with anybody. Again, I was getting liars from the tarot. Okay. There's somebody who's promising you the world, but it's like even your like intuition telling you like, no, something is off. Okay. So do your research on them. See if they actually have the clout basically see if they actually is reputable okay <laughs> that's what it's getting so watch out for a liar okay especially at work or you doing business with them too okay um do you actually did your um, part okay so before you complain scorpios are not complainers but if you were to complain complain the universe wants you to think and say do you actually did all what you need to do Okay. And I feel like, again, this is about research. When you are hiring somebody or when you are, when you are getting business or you getting referrals or anything like that, make sure this person's reputable, make sure that they, they're trustworthy. Okay. And if you feel like something's off, like don't really focus on to them, move to the next client. Okay. Then there's introverts, okay? This is going to be for the introverted Scorpios. Act like you are extrovert, okay? Talk about your business, okay? Um, or talk about your career to everyone. Your net, your net worth is dependent on your network, okay? And then the next card is when you feel extremely challenged, that's when your breakthrough happens. So keep pushing forward, okay? So if you feel like, again, things have been challenging for you, going back to here, Keep on pushing forward, okay? Um, a whole lot of money. <laughs> okay, so a lot of money is coming through. 
don't worry. Just do your part here. Make sure you're connecting with the right people, okay? Not people who's just great finessers. They don't have no cloud. They don't have nothing. Don't connect with those type of people, okay? Um, and then also just being consistent, okay? And I think that's why the universe wants you to do what you actually do. I would love to do, okay? Because it's going to feel like natural. It's going to feel like you're not even working, okay? So let's look at the oracles. So universe, give me a four card spread. What messages do you have for Scorpios? Okay, we got the magician again. So this is just a freestyle card, the hermit. Okay. Also, if you feel like you need to do things by yourself, do it by yourself. Okay, yep. Look at this. I got another self-sufficient card. Um, the emperor, that's Aries energy and have no fear. So yeah, the universe uh, is trying to say you can do everything by yourself. Yes, connect with the right people, but you can do what you need to do. Okay, don't feel like you are dependent, like you need somebody to do something. You don't. Okay. And if you're not skilled at it, um, it could be just like you finding someone else. You don't need to feel like you're dependent on one person or one company or something like that. Okay, that's what I'm getting. So that's the reading that I have for you, Scorpios. Happy birthday and thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a person with me at queenfortheterrell at gmail.com.